I did have um, a relationship with somebody who was, who was widowed, who, who, who was lovely, but that, that came, to a, came to an end. And I maintained this, that it would still have to be somebody who's widowed. And then, of course, I bumped into somebody completely by chance who wasn't widowed, uh, who was divorced, but, but had, had their own share of difficulties in life and pain and, and, and upset. Uh, and and hardship and you realize that your empathy can be can be wider you know and and you you don't have to find somebody who who's uh, in exactly the same boat as you because because many people have gone through many different journeys and experiences in life you know and it's 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 about it's about the person ultimately it's not about their circumstances, about how they've arrived at where they are. It's about how those circumstances perhaps have shaped them. And so, yeah, so having been absolutely adamant, I didn't want to have another relationship after this, this initial relationship had ended, had to be a widow, wasn't looking for anybody, I wasn't interested. Yeah, I had more, I was very happy now. Well, I was very happy, I, you know, it was two, two years and I'd, I'd, I'd reached a place of, you know, relatively stability yeah. and then I literally get a lift in a taxi to a party and this lady walks in the taxi and six foot two of her you know which is you know given like five foot eight <clears throat> is a little bit of a contrast um, and I was like wow you know and suddenly I realised that actually you know your old emotions you know can, can come back and, and you know you will have been shaped understandably by very difficult experience that, you, that, that you've had and it will it will make you think in a particular way for a, for a particular period of time but you do you do you do change you do evolve you know you do realize that actually it's like one of these things when you when you, when you were first sort of widowed you'd think that perhaps you would you come lots of friends with people who were similar to that because again it was such a strong bond it's a unique bond that nobody else can understand they can be empathetic that nobody can understand. And of course, you'd love everybody who's widowed and a widower because you shared that special bond. But actually, you realise that whilst you did, and you'd be very understanding and empathetic and tolerant, somebody could just be, somebody could be just as irritating because they were widowed or a widower, or they could be just as lovely. It didn't actually matter that they were in that set of circumstances. So, so I, 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 I met this lovely lady um, and... Um, as I said, it you 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 get in touch with all the emotions that you've had in the past, and you realise that you've just been incredibly lucky to meet somebody who 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 is lovely, and it doesn't matter how they've come to you or where they've come from, but you know, yeah, I was I was I was in a place that I was ready to accept, you know, that emotion, even though I was adamant two days before that I had nothing to give to anybody. It was just a question of meeting the right person. But for some people, there is. I mean, this is being very candid. I mean, you, you have no idea, bluntly, whether you're going to be attracted to any other, any other person ever again. You, you don't. You, you've been off the market for, you know, 15 years or something, and you looked a bit different 15 years ago than you do now. You've got, you've got no idea how it works or, you know. And, um, you know, I knew that I didn't want to be alone for the rest of my life, but equally I... I, I I was never going to, going to just find somebody for the for the sake of finding somebody. I mean, I'm just not that way inclined. Um, but I and I don't know. I for men and women, there's there's, there's that feeling of insecurity for for both parties. Actually, it's like you know, my God. I mean, is anybody going to look at me? Anybody care for me? Anybody love me? Anybody you know? And so so there's a lot of fear and trepidation that you know you you you, you could be on your own. Um, and I and I think that you've got to be in the right place. I think emotionally to be able to 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 have a respectful relationship with somebody. Um, but again, I, it's a terrible cliche. But it, it, it to some degree, it's a bit like you know learning to ride a bicycle because because you 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 know you did you did do it in the past. You know and you you can do it again. Know, in, in the future, but I, but yeah, I like to think I'm, you know, one of the things I, you know, every every mar everybody's marriage is, is 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 different, but you know, one of the biggest regrets you have when your partner dies is perhaps the things you wish you had done or the way that you might have been, you know, and so 
perhaps you know you were a bit focused on work at times when you would rather be focused on the family even though you felt you were doing the right thing for everybody and by everybody but you know perhaps there were times when you were too distracted and didn't give everybody enough of your, your time and attention and, and I guess that one thing you, you have when you get a, a second chance which is the way I describe it is that you can look back on the way that you lived your life and I, and I certainly lived my life in a different way you know to the way that I did before and part of me part of me is is I wish I could say someday you know and I, 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 I kind of it's difficult because there's another woman. I accept that, but I'm, what I'm kind of saying is, I'm 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 trying to have a relationship. I think we had a good marriage. We had a good marriage, but we had like a marriage that lots of people do with three children. You're busy. You're running around. You're thinking about next week, next year, next month, whatever. Yeah, you're not perhaps quite focused on the moment. I think mums and wives are better at that. You know what I mean? And uh, she always used to send me little. She always give me little keepsakes. They always say all you need is love on them. You know what I mean? Whether it was like a tube pass or a little pill box, and I just didn't quite get it I didn't quite you know what I mean I was, oh, that's nice you know what I mean and, you know, it's not, I love the Beatles so I love all you need is love or love is all you need and that's a nice cheap pass but I didn't really get what she meant and now I get what she meant and so with this relationship I, I damn I mean every day I tell this person how much I love them and how much they mean to me and um, yeah I'm, I'm kind of I'm, I'm not doing it for Jean-Dre but I'm I'm uh, in part doing it out of respect for her and I wish I could say look you know I understand everything that you were trying to do now and I and I am I'm a better person I am a better person so